It's the recurve women's final in the individual tournament. Coaches and officials out on the shooting line. Here come the athletes. Let's go and join them down on the shooting line. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez accueillir les archers sur le terrain. On target number one, from Kenya, Cookie Anwar. Sur la cible numéro un, représentant le Kenya, Cookie Anwar. And representing Côte d'Ivoire, Eleonard Yedak. Sur la cible numéro 2, représentant le Côte d'Ivoire, et Kobir Marie et Léonore Yedagne. And the judge for today is Tabete Zidi. Et le juge pour ce match est Tabete Zidi. So here we go, Tabet Zidi uh, officiating this match, and it's uh, Kuki Anwar from Kenya on target number one, the number one seed, going up against Anne-Marie Yadani from the Ivory Coast, the number three seed here. It should be a good one. Perhaps Anwar, the slight favourite. But this should be tight. It will be the Kenyan to get the match underway. Nine. These two have already faced each other once in the arena today in the women's team final. They've swapped targets for this match, though, other way around. It's the Kenyan archer who looked more comfortable with her teammates when they took gold to open this session. Hey. Eight, possible nine. Eight. So twenty five gettable here. That pushes it into the seven, and uh, even with a potential markup of the second arrow, that's not going to be enough. And Anwar will take a two set point to nil lead. Yeah, make no mistake, Anwar has much more experience in these kind of situations. Uh, she shot at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, got her ticket there by winning the last African Championships in Windhoek in uh, 2016. And every single match at the Olympics is shot in the arena. Uh, biggest stage of all, biggest cameras of all, biggest performance of her life. I remember she she ran Kibo Bay quite close. Unfortunately, not unable to upset, not able to upset the, the London 2012 Olympic champion in Brazil, but certainly going to settle those nerves for future appearances in the arena like this one. Yeah, experience means a lot, but uh, it was a bouncy uh, Ivory Coast women's team a little earlier on today. Uh, can uh, Anne Marie Yadani bring that level to this uh, women's individual gold medal match? Coach giving her a good old pep talk here in the break between first and second. It will be Yadani from the Ivory Coast to shoot first in the second set, and she needs to get off to a good start. So trailing by two set points, Yadani. 
with the first arrow of the second set and that has gone wide and low Best shot of the day so far. Yeah, and well executed as well. Smooth, good process. You know, it's it's all well and good looking at where it's yeah. landed, but if it's if it's performed well as well, it's it's all the more satisfying. Seven. Best shot from uh, your Danny for a 22. Nine. But that is a cracker again and a four set point to nil lead. This is looking very comfortable for Anwar, Chris. Very comfortable indeed. Again, it's experience. She, she's not new to this stage. She hasn't had aeons of experience, many, many matches in the arena, but she has had one, one really critical one in the Olympics. And, and, and this, isn't, this isn't unfamiliar to her, this situation. It's very different, right? Going out there alone as to with your team. And, and Yudani was really one of the engines of that, of that Cote d'Ivoire team earlier in this session. She, she looks very different now, much more sedated, much more pensive, and it doesn't help. Um, it really doesn't help. A switch in attitude is what she needs if she's going to pull this batch back over the back three sets. Feeling the pressure. That's it. Kenya leads 4 0. So, a chance for Anwar to take the African title again. In nine arrows in this set, but it will be Anne Marie Yadani shooting first. Can she do what Chris has suggested and just pick herself up and force that confidence? Shooting first gives her a chance to put some pressure on her opponent. Set number three is about to get underway. Nine. That was a critical error. Eight. And that's why a one point lead after one arrow. Can she maintain this now? Five. And it's that consistency that's proven the problem. Six, seven, line. So a 23 set as the target. A nine for the win. Six. She's pushed that out into the five for a 20. And uh, just indicating that there was uh, some issue with her process there, but it does give some hope to Anne-Marie Yadani there at taking the set with 23 points. Yeah, Kuki Anwar, she... She kind of jumped just before she released that. You can see her move and the and the arrow leave the bow at the same time, and that's generally not conducive to a to a high scoring shot under pressure. She might have just anticipated when it was going to go. Might just not, have, you know, not not have waited, not have been patient. We spoke about you know putting the pressure on. And Marie Yagadni got away with one in the middle of that set. She shot a bad second arrow, but. Unfortunately, when it mattered, first and third, enough to put the pressure on, enough to force an error. And that's how you how you draw a match back at an event like this. 
Yeah, she's got two points back into this. She needs to do uh, some of the same in the fourth set here. But, uh, has uh, given food for thought to Kukianwa from uh, Kenya. Danny kept it alive in the third. Can she do the same here in the fourth? Crucial arrow. Dropped to five with her second arrow in the third set. Having shot and line to start things off. This time it's a different story, and look at that grouping. Six. And now the door is well and truly open. Taken a while for Dagny to find her feet in this match, but she certainly found it now. Seven. The seven for a 25, so a 10 required to share the points from Anwar. Nine. Puts it into the nine, but uh, signs there of uh, a few nerves perhaps being felt or feeling the pressure from uh, Anwar and from four nil down. And Maria Dani from the Ivory Coast has drawn level with the number one seed Kuki Anwar from Kenya. And we go into a fifth regulation set here with the momentum very much with the athlete from the Ivory Coast. The complexion of this match has completely changed. Two sets in, Anwar was in control. It was Yadani who needed to step back, think about what she was doing, calm herself down, and she did exactly that. She did exactly that. She opened that third set uh, with a good arrow, put the pressure on, and look where she is now. She's leveled things up, and now it's Anwar's turn to pull something out of the bag, talk to herself, um, and make sure she's ready. She's ready to fight to fight for these last three arrows. You could say that uh, Anne-Marie Danny has got the wind in her sails, Chris. If we were talking nautical, you could carry him, but we're not. We're on we're on firm land at the University of Pretoria. Talking at the end archery. Of the Set number five of this thrilling gold medal match. We thought it might be a good one until that was Anwar pulled away and was in dominant form through the first two sets. But uh, Anne-Marie Yadani has not let the neutrals down. Drawn level at four apiece, Anwar shooting first. How crucial will that be? Big movement nine. of the body there, but uh, recovers for a nine. And that shaking her head. Had to settle herself back down there at full draw. Nine. <laughs> Nothing in it. Two arrows to go for each archer. Nine. Now, is that experience that Anwar's got? Going to pay off. Nine. Matched by your Danny. Is it going to come down to these final two arrows? Six. A chance here, a massive chance here. A six will force a shoot off any more. And Yadani 
will take the gold. And she's on a nine for a 27 in the final set, coming from four set points to nil down. Anne-Marie Yadani from the Ivory Coast has taken the recurve women's individual African Championship title here in Pretoria. And what a way to do it.